Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with Pluto TV bringing to you a live TV streaming service. It's got about 900 plus channels that you can watch on here. It's also got free movies and TV shows. It's a great alternate source. So if you don't already have cable and you don't have any means of watching any type of live TV, this is definitely a great source that you can download to your Amazon Fire Stick and install it today and start watching and streaming live TV and you can watch movies and TV shows. So in this video I'm going to go and give you a brief in-depth overview of what this has to offer if it's worth the download and also I'm going to go and show you how to install it on your Fire Stick today and of course you can install this app on any type of device, mobile phone, Fire Stick, Android box, any type of device most likely that has internet. So as of right now I do have Pluto TV launched in the top right hand corner you have a brief preview of what's playing and then on the left hand side you have live TV free movies and TV shows and activate and then if I scroll through the TV guide you'll be able to see all the channels that this has to offer I'm gonna go all the way down through the list so you can see all 900 and I believe 35 channels that it has to offer and unfortunately I do have to blur the screen out in the top right hand corner and put the copyright protection so I can keep bringing you content so they won't shut us down and also as I'm scrolling through this TV guide you may see a lot of familiar names like CNET, I've seen Thor, I've seen Dog the Bounty Hunter I've seen a lot of uh, TV shows in here that actually come on the regular TV as well like regular cable so that's definitely a plus alright and also another thing Towards the bottom here, it's similar to cable as well, where you have all your music stations at the bottom. And then at the end here, it's only 935 channels, so we've reached the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and move down to the free movies and TV shows section. Okay, so we're on the free movies and TV shows section, and right away you should be familiar with a lot of these movies. A lot of them are classic movies that definitely stick with you from childhood all the way up until now and you may want to catch up on some of these movies they're all free you can definitely watch all of them the list goes on I'm just showing you a quick overview of what they have in here and then I'm gonna show you as I scroll down the page so I can show you what all it has to offer down below so you got top TV series And that's just a quick overview you got new movies this week these are all the movies that they've just added like vacancy and the sixth day you got recently added series so all your TV shows that they've recently added you got last chance to watch these are movies that are going away they're removing these from the platform soon you got discovery channel you got action you got comedy you got TLC you got family Espanol, Animal Planet, Drama, Romance, Science Channel, Horror, Thrillers, Investigation Discovery, Documentaries, Indies, Man Up, Black Cinema, Sci-Fi, Sitcoms, Classic Movies, Westerns, True Crime, History, 80's Throwback, Flex of Fury, Food and Drink, Home and Dry, Sports, music is so many so many things to choose from I can't even name them all but you can definitely check all of these out I'm gonna just continue through the list here but as you can see they have a wide range of anything that you could possibly be interested in and the last section is classic rock way down at the bottom and if I go all the way up to the top that's about it that's all this has it just has live TV and free movies and TV shows that you can watch and then the last section is activate and I'll show you this basically you want to go ahead and pull out your phone so you can activate this and the only thing this does is allow you to customize what you can and can't see on your device so if you have kids and you don't want them to see certain things you can easily remove them and I'll go ahead and show you this alright so if we do want to activate all you have to do is go ahead and grab your mobile phone and then you want to head to that website pluto.tv forward slash activate and then you want to use that code at the top of your screen and just keep in mind your code is going to be different than my code because I'm using a different TV, different app, different everything. So your code is going to be different. So as long as you type in your code, it'll work just fine as far as activating. But 
just for future reference you don't need to activate Pluto TV to get anything working this just gives you additional features to where you can hide certain things and show different things but you don't need it but I do want to make sure I do give you a full overview of each feature and what everything has to offer so I'm still typing in my code it's ms9dy4 and once you have that code you want to click activate And then once you do click activate, it's going to ask you for an email address and a password. You want to go ahead and put that information in there. And then you want to click on create account. So I went ahead and created my account as a success. You can now personalize Pluto TV. So it says take me to my Pluto. And we want to go ahead and click on that. And then you have four options in here. Uh, basically the top option is activate. So this activate feature, if I click on it and open it up, you'll then see that this feature is just a feature that will allow you to activate multiple devices. So my Fire TV, Roku, iPhone, Android, Apple TV, Smart TVs, PC and Mac, PlayStation, Xbox, and Android TV. You can install this on all of these applications. And if I go down and we click on the edit channel section, this is what I was referring to where this is probably the only features that it has in the, uh, the, back, the back office where you can literally add and remove what you want to see on your live TV or free movies and TV show section. So all of these are on by default, but you can click on the eyeball, it'll unhighlight itself, and you won't see it anymore on your Pluto TV. And you can also favorite items as well if you wanted to do that. And they have every station that Pluto has to offer, and you can go straight down the list and turn each one of them off until you don't want to see anything or you just want to show one specific item. So if we go back, then we have two more options remote that's just telling you that my remote is controlling my Amazon Fire TV and uh, that's about it for that so we're gonna go back and as I go back the only option we have left is settings and I'm not gonna click on that due to it's probably gonna show personal information like email address name date of birth all that good stuff so I'm going to go ahead and pass on that and then we'll go ahead and jump into the install process and I'll show you how easy it is to get this installed on your Amazon Fire Stick. Okay, so we'll start on the Amazon Fire Stick home screen and then all we have to do is make our way over to the app section. So right in between TV shows and settings, there's an apps button. So we go to apps and then we go down the page. So start making your way down the page. You'll see Spotlight, you'll see App Bundles, and then you'll see Sponsored. And under Sponsored, you should see Pluto TV in here. Pluto TV, it's free TV. And then you click on that. And then once you do, you should have a download option. So click your center button on your Fire Stick remote. This will begin the install process. It'll be queened, it'll say downloading and then it should say installing and then once it's done it'll say open alright so it's done installing but before we open that up I do want to show you one quick tip here if for any reason you're not able to find Pluto TV under that sponsored section I do want to give you an alternate source on how to find it so you go back to your home screen and go to your magnifying glass on the left hand side of home and then you'll see this keypad here and you go down you go down to it and then you want to type in here Pluto and that's just P L U T O T V or if you just type in Pluto it should automatically start to populate Pluto TV as you can see down there below and then from there you just go down to Pluto TV and select that option to launch it all right, so Pluto TV should be the very first option under apps and games. And then if we open Pluto TV from here, since we already have it installed, it should just automatically open the app. 
and you should see the live TV in the free movies section. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go back to our home screen so I can show you one last quick tip. All right, so we're back on the home screen and then what you wanna do, just hold down your home button for about three seconds or so. And just hold that home button down on your remote for about three seconds. And then you'll see this screen here. You wanna click on apps. And then once you do, you wanna make your way down all the way to the bottom to the last app that we installed, which is Pluto TV. And click on the three lines on your remote for options. And then you'll see these options. You'll see move, move to front, and you wanna click on move to front. This will bring it all the way up to the front. And if we click our home button on our Fire Stick remote, it'll take you back home. And then you'll see Pluto TV at the very front. And I need to adjust mine here. All right, so there it goes. It's right in the front, and it'll always be in the front every time you boot up your Amazon Fire Stick. All right, so we got Pluto installed for today on our Amazon Fire Stick. And my recommendation on Pluto TV, I would definitely recommend this to anyone who doesn't already have cable. If you already have cable, I wouldn't recommend this because it's just another f app. But if you are cord cutting and you're not trying to pay any type of cable fee, this is definitely perfect for you. So I hope you got this installed on your Fire Stick today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.